These are devotions for people at a social distance. This morning in my devotions, I was reading in Genesis chapter 24, uh, which is a story uh, in, you know, in the cycle of stories about Abraham when he is in this land, this promised land that God has told him to go live in, though he's an outsider and a stranger there. And he's finally had his son and he decides his son needs a wife. And well, only a wife from back home, from the old country, is going to do. So he sends this servant off uh, to go and find a wife for his son. I know, a little bit weird from our cultural point of view, but, you know, it kind of fit back then. Uh, but, but this is the part of the uh, conversation that really struck me, that spoke to me uh, today. Uh, the servant said to him, Perhaps the woman may not be willing to follow me to this land, must I then take your son back to the land from which you came? So he's a little worried. You know, he's going to go find this woman and say, hey, you know, you got to come and marry this, this son of my master. And, you know, maybe she's not going to want to do that if she doesn't even get to see the guy. So am I going to have to take the son there? Reasonable thought, reasonable question. Abraham said to him, see to it that you do not take my son back then, back there. Absolutely not. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of my birth, and who spoke to me and swore to me, to your offspring I will give this land. He will send his angel before you, and you shall take a wife for my son from there. But if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be free from this oath of mine. Only you must not take my son back there. So, the thing that struck me about it is this. God promised something to Abram, who has now become Abraham. And uh, that promise was that you will find your fulfillment, you will find your, your fullness, your, your calling, everything that I want you to be, but you will find it in another land, in this land where you will be a stranger, an outsider, but you will find your place. Well, I kind of feel as if we are being and have been called to do exactly that. We are living in a strange world. The world around us has changed, has changed in remarkable ways, you know, in, in especially in the last 18 months, and it continues to change. It's all kinds of changes being forced upon us. We are living in this strange new world. And uh, the temptation, of course, is always to go back, to find a way to go back, to send your son back so that you can find comfort and and Abraham knows at this point knows how dangerous that is looking back when God has promised you something for the future looking back is dangerous looking back is not going to help so even if even if his son is unable to find a a, a wife you know even if he you know this this servant is released from this really important promise he makes that's more important than that his son might step back. We need to continue to move forward. And moving forward in times of change is difficult and uncomfortable. But if we trust in God that God has led us here, that's what we can do. That is the example of faith that we have from Abraham. And I think we need to follow it. We need to take it seriously. Lord, our God, in this strange new land where you have led us, we sometimes feel uncomfortable. We often don't know quite what to do. But we pray that by your, by your promise and in faithfulness to you, we would move forward and not simply keep trying to go back. Amen.